lots of blue. Hoping, hopefully we'll see some player versus player here coming up soon because I think that's what everybody what everybody enjoys. See all men up with the guns, Sophie said. So a good amount of ammunition on this helicopter. Coming up on the flank, on the right side of Grim. A50 is way too high. He's really high without any terrain. Octo definitely. Is, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, tree! It's not armor vision on that tree. I think Octuple fire sees him. Yeah, he, def he definitely low. sees him. Yeah, he's going to pull the nose up right him. now. Here it comes. Yeah, he sees him. He's coming up now. He needs to be careful. And he may just be trying to sneak up on him. Yeah. He need, he's going to have to put his nose way up there, though. I don't think he sees him, dude. No, he definitely sees him. No, he does. He's coming up. I think he may just be trying to sneak up behind him. Oh, going vertical. We saw at least one hit on target. But was that oh. enough to down the KA-50? Difficult Grim maneuver in a helicopter. Somebody's there now. And I don't know that that was enough. I don't know. I don't. That definitely was not enough. And when you piss off the KA-50, unless you're in a really advantageous position, it could be a world of hurt. Oh, do we see a head? Oh! Nice head, bro! Second hit, so Grim, I think, is in trouble now. He's flipped over. I think that's all she wrote for him. First kill, the octopus fire. That was really lucky. The story's not over yet. No, he's still up. Oh, no, no it looks like it's over. <laughs> I think that's all she wrote. No, this guy's bro, this guy's still hanging in there. It's Rocky Balboa in the K-50 here. He's in a really bad position. Who's he shooting at? I think he's just trying to dispatch. Yeah, he's dead now. Good Octuple job. Fire put one hot into him, and that was all she wrote for Grimm. So, first kill of the day being credited to Octuple Fire against the K-50 of Isagrim, and that's all she wrote for him. But, guys, in this particular event, it is Unlimited Lives. So he can go back and grab another airframe, but... Rush. Here comes another one. That one go definitely on. hit him. Rush, I don't think those flares are going to do you any good after you just got hit, buddy. The engine's giving way. He's not... I think this guy's going to be okay. Engine's out. Yeah. Engine's out. Auto but rotate on the ground. that count as a death? I think that's got to count as a death. Regardless of if you're able to do it or not but we see a line of red four yep. ka-50s and mi-8s inbound what looks directly at sanaki and there grumpy finn is in a world of trouble he is about ready to run headlong into the jaws of a very big animal that is going to be very angry and he is broadcasting to the world saying hey everybody here i am check out my tracers coming off my miniguns but you and see those... that stalin bus look at that it's right off his nose he sees it now, look at this. Yeah, that Stalin bus is barren. Does he see him? Yep, the Stalin bus definitely sees him, and he's going to be like, my guns are bigger than yours. But nothing's... He's got the maneuverability, yet. though. He does. Well, does he? Can't tell who he's getting shot at. I can't get the camera up. Oh, it's K-50 coming by. But that K-50's got the nose authority on him. He's in a world of trouble now. Multiple fire coming in on the rear to try and save the day. Oh, K-50 okay, stay, bro. That grumpy Finn, you just got, for <laughs> lack of a better words, he got gang raped. Look at the main there. roar. He flew headlong into the into the belly of the beast, and he paid for that one. And Octuple Fire, he looks like he's doing the same thing. Just I think Octuple Fire's going to just bell. wreck everybody here. Do you? Yeah, I think I think he's just going to get in. He's really good with the L. He's a really, really good shot with this helicopter. And no one seems to know that he's there. Does Frosty see him? No. But Octuple Fire sees him. But the thing... So the thing here, though, is... Is that... If he fires... And then misses. Like he just did. So he got a hit. But now Frosty... Knows that he's being tailed. And I don't think that the gun on the Gazelle is strong enough to bring down a cave. It's enough to like... Oh no, he's gone, dude. He's gone from range. We've got an engine fire on Frosty. He's got an engine fire, but 
I don't know that that's going to be enough to bring him down, is it? Dogtable's got the two Stalin buses right off his nose. This guy is a killing machine. This, this guy's the man he wants right now. Camino in here with him. They're trailing these two MI8s just south of... Sorry, it's two MI8s and a KA-50 just south of Sanaki. And they don't know that they're being tailed. Now, I do have a question for you, Maverick. Is there... There was talk about being a GCI for this. Is there a GCI? You can get um, any operators for both sides, so there's no GCI. So we did see some hits coming down on energy. Four ball with helicopters, motor. Look at this. But we do know that these red aircraft, there's, there's Boom. more hits. So these gazelles are just wrecking. I tell you... The on the last side. one, after the event, Optical said to me that he wished he'd taken the L because the L would be the most powerful. And I think he's that everyone's proven that if Yeah, these gazelles are deadly. You don't need the mistral, you don't need the missiles, you need the gun. So this is um Octopole and Camino chasing down the Stalin bus. Well, I can see Octopole and Camino are now chasing down this oh, KA-50 229, and they just annihilated him. Almost a mid-air between the two of them. Other. There was always a mid-air. But now, are they able to turn the tide here? Now it's a 2v2. A KA-50 and an MI-8 against the two Gazelle Ls here of Octuple Fire and Camino. Are they able to maintain their air supremacy? Octuple oh, Fire! Oh, holy shit! <laughs> shit, I thought he was going to run into that tree. Oh, it's not armor, bro. But Lazy Seal's taking a hit, so I think he's out of the game. And now it's just Groundhog is the only one remaining in this fight. And now he's taking ground fire from the troops that have been deployed on These Naki by the Elves are already. fucking ridiculous, man. Well, the other thing, I think the rockets do so much splash damage that even if you get close, they do enough damage to the helicopters flying low enough that... Yeah, He's these down. L's are nuts. Gazelle L O P, please nerf. I honestly, I kind of think they're OP for this <laughs> engagement. In all honesty, the flight model looks so totally legit, though. Totally legit. Uh huh. Fifty, not really being able to take advantage of what we've seen in the last round of like the high altitude kind of boom and zoom thing. It's just gazelles running around top speed, murdering people. Well, I don't know that it's the gazelles coming in murdering people. I think the KA-50s just aren't playing to their advantage. They're not using their sensors. They're not using their cameras. They should be sitting off, surveying the scenes, and then going from there. But they're going in trying to mix it up with these helos that are way more maneuverable than them. And they're playing way higher than they should be. Yep. And these gazelles that are flying low are just saying, oh, I see somebody, and just pouncing. On so, these targets of opportunity. Turbo rush going down again. So this is so basically what's going on here. This is like F-15s flying up in contrail, flying too high in contrail, and flankers and MIGs just flying low level, putting them down. That's it's like the roles are reversed yeah, here. We have exactly NATO flying low and Russia flying high. What's going on? So that's all she wrote for Red Side. I'm gonna discount impact because he's just all up here all by himself, lonesome dispatching the blue side but that's a substantial amount of points lost for the for the red side and all of those aircraft being shot down it's huge so who's got kills let's see camino's on three treno's on two octopus must not be counting because it says he's still only got one i think he's got a bit more than one kill now but yeah some good kills across the board hits Let's say but 59th miss, sorry, 99th miss is RTB. He must be out of ammo. He looks like he's pretty much almost decimated that um, target area down there on the southeast. He soloed in there, wrecked everything, and now he's just going to solo back. No one's even seen this guy. Frosty doing a great job with his engine fire to make it back to base. Yeah, but is that going to be, be enough? But yeah, Missy has pretty much single-handedly dispatched 
the entire the entire <laughs> target zone. He was just in a left hand orbit, just letting the door gunners open up there. I was checking in on that guy. Doing How many ground job. kills does he have? Uh, ground 34. kills. Damn. Thirty-four. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> And Impact with 16, he looks like he's Winchester now. He wants to start flowing south RTB. Although he's got a bit of a, an assault course to run. He's got to make it past the might of Octopole Fire. Um, and Natch, we've got a couple of gazelles prowling down there. A lot of blue troops on the ground at Sinaki. The red side, even if they push all the helicopters off this area, they're going to have a hell of a job clearing that airfield now. They've got so many troops on the ground. Honestly, Maverick, I don't know that red i mean we're still pretty early into this but i don't know that red can come back from this it's not looking uh, yeah you're right it still is early days i think we're, we're, we're there's a lack of coordination on the red side well i don't know that it's a lot they all came in during the midpoint of that at the same time and it only took one or two of those gazelles to blow the doors off of it because those gazelles the maneuverability that they have the gun that they have in the rockets that they're doing they were they're doing so much splash damage when they hit the ground around them that even if they don't hit the aircraft and I'm it also, does tons of damage to yeah it. i'm also thinking that if you get a gazelle like so if a gazelle and a k-50 are merged and the gazelle is offensive he can follow the k-50 anywhere it goes whereas the, I, I don't think the k-50 can do the same thing because that that gazelle is so agile to the point where uh, that flight model looks a bit silly, actually. Some of the stuff that that aircraft's yeah. doing. It's like, it's like having the MiG-29 compete against everything else with a PFM. Yeah. Nothing against the guy flying it. They're flying it because it's got an advantage, specifically in the weapons that it uses. But yeah, I mean, putting Moves it in an event like this... We, we're, yeah, yeah the the, there's no way the main rotor would be able to hold on through some of those maneuvers that we've seen. No. No. The main rotor would just be saying, see you later. Yeah, nope. I got better things to do. <laughs> 6G? Nope. He's moving. I mean, he's 225 miles. He sees an them. Hour. He definitely sees them, dude. He's tracking the three gazelles in front of them. And they don't seem to know that he's here. This may be a little Jaws action here in the shark. Yeah. Dun, dun. It very well may be. You got the, sh the Jaws theme? Dun, 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 uh, dun, dun, dun. I'd have to go get it. I need to grab it for next time. I need to make myself. Oh, someone's board. going down. Someone just got hit right in front of us. One of the gazelles. Did they? Yeah, someone just... Oh yeah, they did. What happened there? I think that was maybe aircraft stress. No one was shooting at them. Well, it could have been impact that boxed a... Uh, uh, what do you call it, Adam? Maybe we just didn't see Fair the launch. Yeah. A vicar. He's tracking one another one of them again. Oh, he's fired too early. He's giving the game away. Why is the smoke no, blue on the ground? Oh, what a head, bro! Him, and I think that was enough to dispatch him he got definitely guns on target and that was all that was needed man so you're shot. trading finesse that was a great shot bull in the china shop impact being the bull and he just fucked camino's spare up. time pilots impact what a shot Jeez. Oh it's God. like bees defending their queens this and is I think like that's the, all she wrote the scene from top gun where they're all, <laughs> they're all merged together We're back down here watching, watching on tuple fire, and he just gets dragged over the red AO. Wasn't fast enough chasing down Turbo Rush. But there's still plenty of targets of opportunity down here to the south, and I think he sees either Isagrim or Huckleberry over here to his front. Well, this k 50 is in so much trouble. Impact has just taken so many hits. I can't believe Impact is still up. Oh, we got a fire. We got a right engine fire. Oh, he's going down. Think of your family, son. Get out of there. No, nope. he's still up. No, I think that's all she wrote. He lost his entire tail. He's definitely Sorry, dead. lost half his aircraft here. Oh, no, we're still <laughs> up. We're still up, bro. I think he's definitely dead. Dude, he, he'll be fine. He'll just get he'll out be of fine. there. Guys, that'll buff out. Yeah. <laughs> just show that to your crew chief. We ejected and nearly hit that helicopter. So Octuple fires now head on with Huckleberry. But the one thing I like about Octuple fires is he's not overextending himself. He's not 
getting tunnel vision on anybody. He's not taking a fight into, into some place that he doesn't think he's going to have an advantage. Great rocket kill from Six in the K-50. Just loaded rockets at a low Huey on the ground and the splash damage killed the Huey. Awesome stuff. K-50 and a Huey merge to the north. Oh, get some guns on target. Don't flip over. We have to do the nose up of death. Here it comes. Yeah, but <laughs> I think he just needs to raise altitude because that Huey's going to have to come down. Oh, nose up! But it was all in vain. Oh, fire. Oh, he did. Oh, the door the gunner's door coming gunner to the rescue. These door gunners wrecking. are so strong. So six gets dispatched there. And I don't think his prey of Instagram knows that he's here. Let's know. So a couple hits. Was that enough to do anything significant? Sensibly dumps the fuel tank straight away and gets rid of the rockets. That's very impressive. That's, that's good, sensible thinking. But unfortunately, Octuple Fire is maintaining the altitude advantage oh, and dude. just uses that cannon to just dismantle Grim. This guy is deadlier than malaria. Yeah, but there was a vaccine for that. No, there wasn't. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Octuple Fire having a great tournament, showing that the, the L really has the stuff. It's about to go down. But I think the MI-8 may be able to outrun him. Oh, Lazy just got hit with a minstrel. A minstrel even. I'm sorry, that's Lord of the Rings, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Toro is going to outrun him. He's going to take another Fox 2 here. 270. Fox 2 out, tracking. Where's Lazy? Oh. Boom, Lazy's out of there. That's where Lazy is. Unlucky comrade. You were just a little too isolated, my friend. This is Gazelleville. We're Frosty's gonna, we're... coming in, but Frosty is... See, if you're going to be high in a KA-50, you just got to be yeah. high. Like, don't no. half-ass it and be three or four hundred meters. You've got to be high. No one's to touching him at that altitude. Although, he looks like no. he's booming and zooming. He's just nose down. Look at the airspeed now. We're 200 knots now. I don't think he sees octuple fire, though. He's heavy committing on that area though. He must, maybe they're on the radio screaming for help or something. Well, he might. He's turning into him. I think he's easy. Oh, shooting rockets. So he's sort of giving his position away. All Frosty needs is... Oh, there's a big turn now. Frosty... Yeah, Frosty definitely sees him. It's on, dude. It is on. We're still doing 180 knots. Well, the gazelle, no matter how fast it tries to run away, is going to get caught. This is what I'm worried about now. I think the Gazelle's going to be too manoeuvrable for this K-50 in the merge. Come on, Frosty, what you got? Ah. Octopole fire just destroying people! Yeah... That, uh... But you seen how you seen that there when they both went for the turn, how quickly uh. the gazelle was able to get around. That's <laughs> yeah, that's not really that's that's like flying a DCS Huey against the Arma little bit. <laughs> and I mean, I'm not taking anything away from Octopole Fire. I, no, I mean he he Octopole Fire flies this helicopter like in the regular PVP servers and still destroys loads of people. But I, I, that was a great sort of first hand look at just how. But I'm gonna quote. The guys that who made the Polychop. The Polychop. Polychop. Their their quote was when somebody was complaining about the flight model was, "It's not broken because that's not how you're supposed to use it." Yeah, that's so. 
No, they acknowledge that the flight model is broken above a certain level. Yeah. But they say that it's not broken because you're not supposed to fly the helicopter that way. But if anybody's flown simming at all, Alcamorphous or any marriage. type of competitive in ga gaming at all, yeah, you fly any type or use any type of weapon to its full advantage, whether you're doing something that it shouldn't be doing in real life or not. Oh, Mistral out. Looks like it hit the back of the aircraft. He's still okay. Elkin move merged in the uh, northeast corner. This goes in them all. But it, I think we may be way too close for these Mistrals to be. Damn! Oh, no. I say that. I take back what I said. Engines are out. Engines way are out. Way too close. And he just pile drives him to the face. Looks like he's going to be able to auto take down. No, he's still okay. He'll trim that out. That'll be fine. <laughs> rotate again. Take that one back to your crew chief and just say sorry, buddy. I uh, I ran into a missile. I thought it was a bug. Coming back to that flight model thing, that's that's total bullshit. To have something like say, well, yeah, no, the flight model is realistic as long as you fly it realistically. It's like no, dude. That's like so. If I buy a car from Ferrari and they say, right, it won't go on fire as long as you stay below seventy miles an hour, you wouldn't fucking buy the car. Do you know what I mean? It's um, no, that needs to be fixed. That's that's um, that's not what DCS is about. DCS well, is about delivering the most sort of realistic yeah. experience that you can get as a commercial user, and to have something like that is, yeah, that's that's uh, that needs to be fixed. So octuple fire, he may be RTB now. Fine. Look how ammo. How many kills does he have? Four thousand. He's got four kills. The gazelles on the blue team are the top four leaders in air-to-air -air kills, and they have 11 kills. 11. Man. And Octuple Fire isn't RTB yet. He is still just hanging out around the, the red AO. And right now, he's just flying above. Did he just take out that Abrams? We're still up. T90 still up. He's still got a, he's got three rockets left. Oh, he, he got the, it, he, he got takes it. takes out the Ambrose. Or the T-72, excuse me. He only took himself out as well. Yeah, he did. But he's just lurking. He's getting his lurk on. And unfortunately, Red is going to fly right over the top of it. And Jaster501 first subscribe with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much, buddy. Hopefully you're enjoying the show. We're back to say till next week, but hopefully you're enjoying some helicopter action here with the Helicopter Tournament 2 that Alpen Wolf's putting on. And again, man, he's lurking, and six is going to come right over the top of him, but we've got a Mistral off from Natch on Rush, and I don't think Rush sees it, and he just gets popped. But he's still up. His engine's not off, but Octuple Fire 6 just flies right over the top of him. And Octuple Fire is just going ham. Multiple hits on target, and 6 is just in a world of hurt. How many gun rounds does that gun have? A thousand. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> no. We can see Requiem Alpha right there in the center of the screen. Does off tuple fire know he's there? So chat says the cannon only carries 240 rounds. And I feel like off tuple fire has fired more than 240 <laughs> rounds. <laughs> I just fired in little bursts though, so. That is true. Is he back in the shark's den? Yeah, he's, he's lurking. Just lurking. Yeah, he sees he sees Requiem Alpha here. Requiem Alpha, you better watch, buddy. The shark is out to get you. You can see the shark. The little gazelle bearing down. Gun oh, cuss him in half, bro. Abracadabra, Alpha. motherfucker. 
And there goes Alpha's tail. Octuple fire again. Says peace out as Requiem Alpha. What's left of him flies into the abyss. We jump to where Frosty's at. See if we can see Natch. There's Natch. Natch is in a Mistral. So Natch does have the range to engage Frosty from here. The question is, is does he have It looks like he's in any pursuit. Mistrals left? It does. So he's got what I would assume, excuse me, to be at least one left. So he's probably trying to move for himself behind Frosty. Fire the box! It's off. Frosty doesn't see it. Doesn't see it. We can see it bearing tracking, down. Tracking, tracking. Boom! Boom. Frosty's still up, and I don't know that Natch has another one, does he? No chasing him. I said that's all she wrote, but these KA-50s showing how much punishment they can take, and now Frosty's turning into him, deploying flares to make sure that he doesn't need another one. And it looks like... I think Natch, Natch would have fired again if he had another weapon. He yeah, I fired think he's just now. trying to hide. Does Frosty see him? I think Frosty sees him now. There's another one. Came off the rail. Frosty doesn't see it. And nice. He takes another one, and that's all she wrote. That is all she wrote. As Frosty's cockpit detaches from the main part of it, his aircraft. We've got a oh, about to merge between our two points. Yeah, energy. just about to take it. Another Stalin bus it down. Well, we may not even see him. I don't think he sees him. Oh no, Karma may be coming for. Optimal no. fire! Shoot him, bus shoot him! He knows he's there now. On the super maneuvers. Oh, he's hit, he's, he's hit! He's just gotta get one or two gun rounds on target. Oh! oh. Fire. fire finally taken down! Damn! By my man Energy in the Soviet bloody bus! But Molvich now is in trouble. He's sandwiched between several, several enemy aircraft. And unfortunately, they are missiles. <laughs> but he's running for cover. Energy is now regrouped with Molvich. And we can see Torino up here to the north. Vicar out from Lazy Seal and Natch. Missed. But was that on Natch? Or was that on Camino? No, it was on Natch. Second so, one on Natch. And that that may be it for Natch. We can see the Vicar behind him goes right by him. Made a oh, 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 boy, hit the tree. Had uh, proximity fuses. Man, with how maneuverable these gazelles are, Jeff, I don't I know think... that you're going to hit him with a Vicar. Lazy's going down. Someone set Lazy. That was the Mistral. Yeah, that was Turtle Lover with the Mistral. Man. These gazelles, these, dude. They're wrecking. And look how many troops now are on Sanaki. It's like the, gaze the gazelles are out here just kicking the ass of the red side. And the Hueys are just flying non-stop troop deployment missions to Sanaki. And honestly, at this point, I think the, 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 the Hueys... The Hueys might as well stop and just load up on rockets and join the fun, or get door gunners and join the the air to air fight with the with the Mistrals and the Gazelle Ls down here in the south because they have more, more than enough troops on Sanaki to ensure that Red doesn't take it. And this is the kind of and, flying that we like to see, Drew. I mean, these, rather than just flying until you find someone, these guys are actually using a little bit of tactics, a little bit of strategy to just let the fight come to them and then use the air. Because I, I guarantee you, these um, red guys will be having a hard time spotting these gazelles. It's such a small aircraft, and if you look, look how well the camouflage blends in with the trees that he's around. So as long as he's below the tops of the trees, they're going to have a nightmare trying to actually see him. Camino Lazy Seal see. in chat brings up a good point and says the weather might be affecting the Cheval. Ah, right, okay, yeah, making it an, an extra spanner in the works for the Red side. There's a ton of Hueys sitting on the deck. So Toro. My God, you can get so many kills. Trouble. Oh, Mistral's heading straight towards him. The Mistral sees him. The Mistral sees him. 
Tor 2. Oh, yeah, it does. Fox out. And there goes the Mistral. There's a Fox. Oh, it went right over the top oh, of it. Oh, the I flares. Think he's just too low. Fox out again, going for the flares. So that's why this is just. This is a war zone. Oh I need to grab God. this from the Sanaki. Point oh, of he view. got him! He got him! All four missiles, but he got him. There goes one of the MIAs. So, what happened there is these aircraft flew in and then just died. <laughs> Red just said, guys, we're going in. Everybody stormed the door. And then everybody died when they were trying to go through the door. Huckleberry just crashed. And Huckleberry, for good measure, just lawn darts into the ground. Damn. Man. Toro might be able to get his troops off. He's, still, he's just trimming this out. Yeah, I think that'll buff out. You could trim that out. You give that enough back pull on your trim hat, and I think the aircraft will, pull, will take off again. Hey, Finn, limping back to base on fire. Looks like he's going to make it. Doesn't look like he's headed to base. He's headed to Sanaki, Sanaki mean, at sorry, this point. Sanaki, yeah. Well, he can get repairs there. He may just be trying to draw to dump troops. They've got infinite lives, so he just may dump yeah. troops and respawn. Look at Alpenwolf. He's... <laughs> Alpen Wolf's an angry man, just yoloed straight towards the enemy base. Come at me, he's saying. I think so, but now Alpen Wolf is sandwiched between a Huey and a Gazelle. The Huey oh. of Fox 1 is on the north side of Alpen Wolf while Octuple Fire brings up the rear. But I don't think Fox 1 sees him. Oh, I don't think Alpen sees Fox 1? I don't think. They just flew. Fox 1 just flew right in front of him. I think he does now. Oh, the fire is going to be able to get to the rescue, fire. though. I think so at this point. Alpha Wolf has slowed down a substantial amount, and it's just giving Octopus oh, fire yeah. the time he needs to line up. Don't do it, Octopus! How many men have to die? Octopus fire bringing up the scout wolf, but Alpha Wolf is warping quite a bit. I see that as well. still sees him though. Oh yeah, he definitely does. Now he's on Alpen Wolf, 6 o'clock. And this should be good night for Alpen Wolf. He tried to get up here. Several hits on target. And yeah. Damn it, dude. One That's like boost, World War II. That's like Spitfire stuff. Alright, Rush and uh, 6. But look what a Requiem Alpha has bearing down on his 1 o'clock. Oh my god, here we go. Here comes a Mistral. No flares coming Bang. from Requiem Alpha. And his... We saw it once at least one blade come off of his rotor assembly. Do we have Dude's another out. Mistral heading his direction? I think he's just waiting for the flares Fox two. to dissipate. There's the Fox 2. Bang, I saw you. Mwop, mwop, mwop. So now we've just got the death squad of three Mistrals and a Huey for good measure coming from Sanaki southbound to just screw anything up that gets in their way. It's scary to have... say if you're on the red team. Yeah, it is. I don't know how red's going to be able to deal with this. We do have a couple KA-50s of six and rush in here central, but we have another Huey coming out of Sanaki to deal with six, and the door gunners... Um, are opening up. We see guns in response from the K-50. Mid-air? Ooh. There is an engine fire coming from the K-50 of six. An aggressor is able to turn it around here on six. And the door gunners dialing it in. And I think this is going to be good night for 6-2. Oh, there it goes. Eject, think of your family. And now we've got Instagram down here to the south. And he's really high. We can see a vicar coming off the rail. 
I don't think that hit anything. No. It didn't, but he just gave his position away, oh, and he son. gets smashed. Dude, by this a is a massacre. Two mi eights creeping past on the west. I don't think anybody sees them yet. Gonna see any Mistrals coming off the rails. Don't know that they have a big enough heat signature. Two. There's a Mistral. There's oh. the head. He's still up. No, he's, no, he's not. not. <laughs> he flipped over. He's dead. Oh, dude. At least the other two MI8s go past, though. Two Huckleberry. I guess if we want to say at least, then yeah. sure. Oh, looks like Toro's next. Rush up here to the north. Is it a furball? No, he's not. Rush is dead, he had a tree. Toro's firing his gun, I think he's like testing his gun, that's the wrong time to be doing that. Toro, giving yourself away my friend, let's not be doing that. Do these gazelles see him? Yeah, Ford in here, I'm pretty sure sees him. There's the Mistral. And there's the hit. And Toro's dead. No mercy. There is no mercy. No. Now Turbo Rush. Turbo Rush, is it your turn? Is Ford and Nero going to take you down too? See if we can see. Who's our closest target here? I don't think they see each other. Well, he's above. He's the higher, so the Gazelle should see him first. You should see him any second now. I mean, he sees him. He has to see him. Yeah, he sees him now. He's turning into him. Fox He's two. nose on now. Fox there two, out, bro. No flares. Damn. There's the second one. Damn. Four. Man, look how that thing moves. Oh, oh that was a, that was Fox. a good shot. Didn't get him though. Oh. oh. Finally! So, finally the gazelle broke! You can you can break the gazelle, evidently. The rotor assembly will come off if you give it like 9G. <laughs> that was his help. Yeah, no, that was Remember Impact's little burst that did hit that guy. That was just like a delayed thing, because look, red. Oh you player. think so? Uh, oh it? yeah, you're right. Yeah. So that wasn't the gazelle giving out, that was That was those rounds. Lagged, I thought lagged that was a really good rounds. shot. I thought he got him. What are Molovich and Huckleberry doing? There's no point. The guys, this is hopeless. We've got 50 What's Groundhog thousand. doing? Groundhog, where are you going? Well, props for them making it this far. Shit's getting real. Dude, you're getting shot at. You need to hurry up and land. Guys coming out and land on the fucking runway. Guys, I haven't been cleared to land. I know we're under fire, but I can't put down. <laughs> ATC said land, so we're going to land. Oh, look, this is awesome. He's taking shots. I don't know what he's doing. Get the troops off. No, no troops. Oh, what's your main roar on the ground, dude? The K, the MI8 just seems to be shrugging off those small arms rounds, though. Ain't only the door really gunner care. gets up. And now Huckleberry's door gunner is just going to town. Now, I saw Frosty got a Vicar kill. Nice, that would have been on that um, Mistral that was coming towards him. Nice, Frosty. On somebody. Oh, we got red troops on the ground. Soviet troops on the ground. But now as Huckleberry or Groundhog departs from Sanaki, he's going to run headlong into this Mistral Gazelle. Turtle Lover, do you see him? Oh. Did you see that green tracer? Well, it doesn't matter because he just crash landed. So Natch over here. And his Mr. Gazelle, I think he's hunting Frosty. How high is Frosty? Dallin. 
Stalin bus is shooting the ground units. He's got a gazelle right in front of him. Oh, he's wrecked. If we look down here to the south, Notch is closing in on Requiem, Alpha, and Frosty. Bull's just about to murder this uh, Stalin bus at Sinaki. Yep, Stalin bus is on fire. Stalin bus is going down. Now when this hop comes off the rail, it's going to give Frosty a pretty good idea of where Natch is. If he doesn't already. Shooting rockets, I think he's going to give himself away to Frosty. I think he did, but he's... Instagram's going to take these these hits and Instagram goes down. But Frosty, Frosty I'm doesn't pretty sure, him. knows exactly where Natch is. Yeah? No, I don't think he does. He's got to see him now, he's high enough now. Come on, Frosty, get him, bro, get him. He sees him. Shoot, Frosty, shoot! And unfortunately, Frosty's weapons, he doesn't have a very good way of being able to fire on a flanking bandit. He's got to wait for him to turn cold, maintain a decent aspect to have any chance yeah. of getting a, a shot. And if he misses, that gazelle's going to know exactly where he is. He's firing at someone. It's not us. I don't know who he shot at. I think he's shooting at those paratroopers. Oh, he's going to team kill. Don't do it, Frosty. No, I think he sees him now. No, I keep saying that. There it is. Oh, it hit got him. him, it got him. It got him. Oh, what a kill, what a kill, Frosty. Nice a... job. Yeah, that was a good shot. Gazelle's going to just fix, trim that out, though. <laughs> Frosty says, I'm going to put one more into you for good measure, you fucking gazelle. See you later. Right, right. That was a great kill. This was a lot of fun. To watch, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I don't know that I envy uh, Red Side right now. But it was a lot... It was a hell of a lot of fun to watch. Missy's been doing a great job. He's been on the air to ground hustle. He's been doing a great job. How many kills does he have? Uh, 4,000 of them. A lot of things with 4,000 today. 49 kills. Almost 4,000. Just missing a couple zeros. But we do see octuple fire bearing down on Red 4 on the opposite side of the river. Are we going to have some closing remarks coming between octuple fire energy and frosty and frosty seems to have something to say i don't know where that vicar's going is he within range of the airfield turtle lover maybe maybe i can't tell can see that vicar now fell right underneath turtle lover but there goes another one and I just think the gazelles move too much. They're not stable enough to take these hits from these vickers. But oh no, Frosty, someone's flaring. Oh, it almost hit him, but Frosty flaring. Yeah, so uh, Octopus now but sees those flares. Octopus targeted. Knows exactly yeah. where they are. And he's right underneath this engagement. Oh, Mistral's just sailing past Frosty. Frosty's dumping tons of flares, and he's dumping altitude now. But, uh... Octuple Fire's now in a six. 
and unfortunately flares do not work against a cannon. Frosty is now sandwiched between Turtle Lover and Octuplifier. So he's slowing down to get ready for the shot and Octo's going to catch him. Look at this Huey though, look at the guns! Frosty wisely changing it, changing his airspeed for altitude to get above the Huey. But unfortunately, the Huey is not the only one he has to worry about. He still has Octuple Fire right behind him. And Octuple Fire looks to be lining up the shots. There comes the cannon shots. Oh, he's such a good shot. None of them hit, though. No, he's hit. Frosty's wrecked. Oh, he did hit? Yeah. Nah, that's unfortunate. But I think Frosty may have the airspeed to get away. Nope, he's gone he here. Died. I think that's the end. Energy may get poked by something here coming up, but I don't think really anybody's close enough. That's it, dude. That's, that's it all it. over. That's all she wrote. So, goddamn. Man. What a display. Oh, Energy, has got a Mistral on him. Last minute Mistral going down for good measure. Thought he was going to get home, but he eats it. Mercy. No mercy. Man. Well, that was decisive. That was the most, I think that's the most decisive event of any aircraft that we've, we've ever seen. Yeah, that wasn't even really a competition. That was a slaughter. Blue Shoot. side, taking it to the red side. Shout out to was... the reds, though. They, they, they didn't rage quit. No, no one was started throwing the toys out of the pram. Everybody just kind of took it. Um, these events are for good fun, guys, where no, no one's taking this too seriously. It's good to see everybody keeping a level head. I'm sure there will be some, some words exchanged towards the end, but... Uh, I hope everyone still had fun. It definitely was great fun to watch, but like you said, maybe wasn't so much fun flying on red today. Maybe not, but they stuck with it. Nobody really gave up. They fought to the end, um, and it was Go fun man. to watch. Like real men.